It's time to express an inbuilt functional interface using the lambda expressions. In this lecture, you are going to express the runnable interface which you have used in multi-threading using lambdas. First, let's implement it using the normal way. Let's implement multi-threading and then we'll express it as lambdas. Right click new class my runnable IMPL implementation and it implements click on the add button the runnable interface from java.lang package click ok put it in a package com bharat lambdas dot interfaces finish runnable is a functional interface because it has only one abstract method called run let's implement it Display a message for 10 times int i is equal to 1, i is less than or equal to 10, i++. plus plus. Do a sysout within double quotes, child thread. Save it. Create a test class where we'll start this thread. Class test with a main method in the same package. Finish. Create the instance of runnable. Runnable r is equal to new my runnable impel which we have created. Thread t is equal to new thread r. In order to start off or kick off a thread, we need to create an instance of thread, pass it the runnable interface t dot start. That will spawn off the child thread. And in the main thread also, let's loop through and display a message for 10 times. Int i is equal to 1. i is less than or equal to 10 i plus plus. Do a sysout within double quotes. Main thread. Save it. Run it. And it should run both the child and the main threads. It runs the main thread first and then the child thread it's up to the thread scheduler how it wants to do it now let's implement the same using lambda expressions you can comment out these three lines here we don't need the thread implementation we know don't need this class anymore using lambdas right here runnable r that is the functional interface is equal to brackets run does not take any parameters so we need not pass any parameters there hyphen greater than symbol the arrow mark to have multiple statements within a lambda we use the bracket a flower bracket and close it with a flower bracket and a semicolon at the end within that we want to loop through whatever you have implemented in the run method we are doing it here for int i is equal to 1 i is less than or equal to 10 i plus plus open the for loop end it sys out within double quotes child thread and we are done so that's the power of lambdas no need to implement a class of its own and then define the method and all that with a simple syntax we have expressed the child thread as runnable but to start it you still need to create an instance of the thread t is equal to new thread pass in the r to it t dot start you can copy over these two lines if you want to but typing is not a bottleneck <laughs> run the program again and we still see the similar output it runs the child thread first this time it's up to the thread scheduler and then the main thread 